Welcome back. In this video, we're going to look at how Central delivers on the promise of security first networking by offering integrated profiling, behavior analysis, as well as policy suggestions. Let's get started. To begin, I'm going to click on the client planet. And what you'll see is I am greeted with a bunch of MAC addresses in our client list. This by itself doesn't really mean too much. What I can do now though with New Central is enhance the columns to include profiling information such as category, function, vendor, and model OS. And now a seemingly meaningless list of MAC addresses gets enriched with category, function, vendor, model OS, a hierarchy of classification to tell you what is traditional IT as well as what is niche IoT and delineate between each one of them so you can figure out what is connecting to your networks. You can also straight away jump into this classification view by changing the type of the client list view. And here you'll see a default view for classification as well as a new column called tags. Tags are labels. These can be manually assigned by a network admin, but they can also be assigned automatically with machine learning, such as this IoT tag. I'm going to filter for all the IoT tags that my machine learning model has assigned in this instance. And you'll see I'm greeted by a bunch of devices like the Samsung device that looks like a Samsung TV. If I click on this, I want to understand why this IoT tag was applied and what's the use for this device. Here, when I expand the classification card, I see that Central is running a behavior analysis model to figure out the time on the network spent by this TV, all the different applications and the variety of applications being used, as well as if this TV is roaming around. In the back end, we have 15 other KPIs that we use to profile, as well as automatically assign tags that can later be used in policy. Now, what customers want to see is, in many cases, a top-down view of all the endpoints on the network. So for this visibility, we're going to switch from our list view over to the summary view. Over here, when we expand our classification card, you start to see at a higher level all the tags, vendor, model OSs that have been automatically classified in this instance, complete with counts for each one of those fields. We go ahead and correlate this information with networking constructs, such as what SSID these devices are connected to, what VLANs, and what roles they've inherited on the network. Because our network devices are capable of deep packet inspection, we can also tell you what applications, domains, and IP addresses are being consumed, whether it's internal or external for this network. By clicking on the Explore tab, I can now start to slice this information and start to see relevant patterns that only I care about, for example. In many situations, we've seen customers wanting to find out how many of their endpoints are stuck on an unauthenticated or initial role. So if you click on the Logon role, I can start to see the entire dashboard change and showing me only the endpoints that are stuck on the Logon role. Similarly, we also integrate with third parties such as Intune and correlate that third party information with all of our information. So if I now click on Intune telling me there are non-compliant devices, not only do we know what endpoints are affected, I can very, very quickly root cause and zero in on what SSID, what VLAN, on what role these devices are on the network. Now, along with endpoint and networking information, we can also correlate this information with application information. So if I click on any one of these domains, I can start to see which one of these devices or endpoints are actually using these domains. So similarly, if I click on a specific destination here, I can tell you very quickly what endpoints are being used here. It's a Windows device, and I can again tell you what network VLAN and role is being inherited by the network. Now, if I go back to the client list view, I have a similar capability here by using filters. And if I click on filters, I can correlate our standard filters with our classification filters. If I wanted to see, for example, a particular role being used, and I can start to correlate this with all the tags and classification hierarchy that we have in the network. 
In this case, I'm more concerned about all the non-compliant devices I see in the network and I click on apply. So now I know what devices are non-compliant. Let's take an action on this. Let's create a tag that says for non-compliant devices, we're going to set a bunch of things that they no longer have access to. We want this to apply to certain devices, let's say computing systems, or in addition, we can also apply this to certain vendors. And you could also do this exact same thing. If you know, if you do not want to manually fill this in, you can click on any one of these endpoints and create a tag. In this case, all of the fields are preferred for you. So in, again, what I'm going to do is label this tag and make sure that these endpoints that are non-compliant cannot access important subnets on the internal network. Similarly, I can also make sure that they no longer have access to certain applications externally. And you notice you start to see all the 4000 plus applications that we natively classify and you can make sure that they no longer have access to this. And you can do the same for domains as well. When you create these tags, these are automatically applied and can be used to construct policy, whether in ClearPass Policy Manager or natively inside Central with Central NAC. So this is an upcoming feature where you can use all of your tags to create policies. A quick example of that would be when you're creating policy conditions in Central NAC, you can key off of client tags and you can make sure that if any endpoint inherits the non-compliant tag, we will deny access and we can even decide what role they have on the network. One challenge that a lot of network admins have is not only not knowing what endpoints are on the network, but how much access to give them once they're on the network. To make this simple, New Central will now start suggesting policies as part of our insights. When you look at the sun in our solar system view and click on this gear icon you'll see we're now recommending policy optimizations in this case we're recommending policy optimizations for a couple of different iot devices and if i click on the samsung tv you will see that instead of us evaluating up to 5000 different sessions over the past 30 days for all the samsung tvs we have in our network Central's telling me that it's really just doing 19 things over and over again. You'll see a mix of external as well as internal destinations. You can pick and choose which destinations make sense. And Central will tell you how much behavior coverage is being added incrementally by each one of these policy suggestions. Again, these can now be used as part of Central NAC or externally in ClearPass Policy Manager. I hope you enjoyed this look into New Central. New features will be consistently rolled out, so stay tuned for more updates.